So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you how to register a user. And since we don't have a model for this, let's also write the model right away. So we had the items in the models. So let's make a, a new file here and then save it as user.php. And this is going to be a PHP file. So we need to start the PHP uh, segment class user is extends model and we need to have um, username and another attribute password hash okay so that's a start that's going to be the model that we want to use So this model user. So this is when we are registering. Um, and this model user, new user is equal to this model user. I want to populate new user. Username is equal to dollar underscore post username password hash is equal to whoops password hash is equal to the password given now we didn't do any of the checks yet and if we were to accomplish this we need to use a password hashing function so that's why I called it password hash. So what we want to do is we want to use that password hashing function and um, the way to basically know what goes in this password hash function is just to use the autocomplete in um, Sublime. And what the password hash function does is it hashes the password into a form which cannot be decrypted. It's the difference between a hashing and an encryption is that you cannot unhash um, an item that has been hashed because it's a lossy operation. Whereas encryption is a lossless operation that you can reverse. So the password hashing, we're gonna use the password default hashing, which is a bcrypt algorithm in this case. And we're going to take the password that's given by the user and hash it. And that's the one we are going to store. So the next operation would be new user. And uh, we want to, uh, I'm going to use the same pattern as we did for item create. So let's call that create. Okay. This is what we would be doing if everything checks out. However, uh, there are two things to check. First of all, does the user exist? And second of all, um, well, do the passwords match the password and the password confirm? So let's start uh, with uh, checking if the uh, user exists. So what we would want to do is we would want to check. So let's start by actually writing the table that we are going to use for this purpose. I'm going to click on the admin button in the MySQL row of my exam control panel. So in my test database, I'll make a new table and call this table user. I will put in a user ID and make this auto increment. This is gonna be the primary key. I'm gonna add in a username, make this of type varchar, 50 characters long, and put in a password hash field, make this 
Vart Char and 72 characters long. 72 should be enough to uh, make it work. Okay, I don't need the extra field, so I'm gonna scroll down and just save this table and see the result here. We have user ID, which is the primary key, username and password hash. Oh, I forgot to make the username unique. So I'll just click here on unique on the username line and click OK. So now I have a unique username, I have a user ID, which is the primary key and the password hash. Okay, this is the table we are going to use. So in our user model, we want to retrieve users. We want to make sure that we can find users. So I'm going to copy this from the item class. Okay. So I'm going to leave this method. We might actually use it later. So select star from user where user ID. I'm going to make multiple selects here. user ID is equal to user ID. We prepare the statement, we execute it with the user ID that comes from the user ID provided here, whoops, user ID. And we set the fetch mode to fetch class for our class user and fetch one item. Okay, that's great. We're just gonna use that at some point probably, but the method that I want to implement now is actually a find by username. So find user, let's try that with instead the username. So let's make a multiple select here. Username. Great. So now I'm going to use uh, the user is equal to new user find user by username and the user should be null if there is no user with that name in the database already. So if the user is null, then we proceed with inserting the record. As long as the two passwords match. So if the user is null, and post password is equal to post password confirm. Then new user username is the username, new user password hash is the hash given by the password hash function and new user create. Good. So in this case, I would like to send headers to redirect to the login page. Okay. So I'm gonna send the header to redirect to the login page. Now, if the username is already taken, might as well call the view, the register view, and let the user know. So I'm gonna call the register page, but this time I'm gonna provide data, and the data is gonna be just a string, as it's gonna be the error message and I'll state that the username is in use 
or the passwords did not match. Okay, I'll just state that. We can make two branches to differentiate between those two cases, but I'll leave that as an exercise. So in my register view, what I can do is I can branch and then provide the error message as needed. So after my heading here, this would be a perfect place to branch. So I'm gonna make a small PHP block. And if not is array data. So in other words, if I actually set my data to a string, so there you go. Um, I could use is a string as well. Then I will echo. the data. So it should be a string here. And I'd like to actually uh, put that inside a div that is an alert div. And so I'm going to look for that to show you the reference bootstrap alert. Okay, so if you see here, this is the kind of div I'd like to use. This is a danger alert. And so we have alert danger here, div alert danger. We're going to put double quotation marks here, change these to singles. Okay, and hopefully everything checks out. Let's save this. So that should provide an error message. We'll try it later.